guys <laughs> I got something cool to show you kind of a review but not really just showing you something really cool that I got and it's an RJ45 cable it's got a pretty little coating on it these are basically like your old ethernet cable you know that goes to uh network and everything everybody knows what RJ45 is it's a bigger style phone cord but why do I have this and what does this have to do with this? Ha 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 ha. And what does all of that have to do with this? I'm getting ready to show you guys. Of course, if you recognize the logo here, you'll know it's from the old Slam Panda Zachary himself. And it goes to these two parts. And who check it that out. Oh, Ultra Instinct Goku, guys. Ooh, all black. Monkey D. Luffy. For those of you that don't know, I am a huge anime fan. Got the volt meter on there. Got the on and off. I had white LEDs put in here in hopes that the, the glow and the colors will look really great. That's why I picked them two images. But yeah, guys, I am a pretty big anime fan. Feels good in the hand. Okay, so we got the, that's the base knob. There's that RJ45 connection. That's what, yeah, now you're all starting to see. Now this here, this is a lot of things. But you basically put this down with a couple old screws and bam, stick that to it. Um... He does make RCA distribution blocks like this, but this is not a distribution block. I don't know if the camera is picking it up really well, but uh, yeah, the camera is getting it definitely. You know, Zachary, he designed this. I didn't tell him what to put on this thing at all. And uh, he actually got like almost ever side with it. Like I can, I can see good enough to see that like this is in from the head unit and that's out to the amplifier so basically my sub output from my end or well, yeah my end dash will go in here and then it'll go out of here to my uh, distribution block in the back for the subwoofer amplifiers now here we got a ground we got a battery and then right here we got a remote turn on and these wires are going to feed out through this RJ45 connection into the base knob. And not only are you going to control your base just like you normally would with a base knob, and these don't have to be hooked up for that at all. It'll work just fine without these hooked up. But when you hook these three wires up, that's where you get your voltmeter, and that's where you actually get your uh, power for your LEDs inside. And what's beautiful is it's all done through this. Um, good looking cable, but, you know, if anything happens to this cable, hell, you can just go to Walmart and grab one. You know, they're pretty much all the same. And that's the beauty of this base knob and why when I saw it, I had to try it. I have destroyed so many base knobs and never from harming the knob itself. It's always been when the cables come out of the bottom for, uh, you know, the RCAs that they get destroyed. They always like get a bad connection or a break in the cable right here at the bottom. And in turn, you, it trashes the whole knob unless you want to try to take it apart and, you know, solder new cables on or whatever. When I saw Zachary come out with this design, I'm like, man, that is just awesome because that's it. 
another thing I really don't like, I mean, I know companies like uh, Knob Concept, Steve Greenfield makes a very nice knob. And <clears throat> a lot of his knobs have these uh, RCA plugs directly on the bottom of the knob. And that way, you know, when your RCA messes up, you just replace the cables. But you get that big bunch of the plugs there. I don't really care for that. And then everybody that makes a knob, usually you have really nice leaving on the RCA cables and they want to run the wires for your voltmeter or LEDs out separately when they should just leave everything together. Um, I think Zachary is definitely onto something by using all the extra wires in here. And, you know, you got your, all your sound going through this, you know, for your base level. You got your uh, wires run through there for the voltmeter. You got your power wire running here for the dang LEDs. Now, I haven't lit it up yet to see what it looks like. But that's kind of why I chose black for these is because I'm pretty sure you can't, yeah, you can't see through this. So this is like a definitely an opaque black. So all of the LED from the white LEDs is going to go through the side panel and it should light this up really nice. I did pick everything for this knob. You know, I did pick like that. I wanted these black uh, and he's came so far <clears throat> with what he is putting on knobs. I remember the first knobs I ordered from him. He could just do pretty much the laser etching and that was it. And I mean, now he's doing full color photograph style uh, images on knobs, which is just turning out great. So, I mean, even his Slam Panda logo is like full color. He's really stepping up his game with everything. But look at look at how great the colors look in there. I mean, the colors are amazing in it. And you can get anything you want on these knobs, guys. You hit up Zach at Slam Panda, tell him what you want. He'll put anything on it. And he's been doing base knobs for a very, very long time. Definitely all custom. And if you check out Slam Panda's Facebook page, you can see some of the work he's done with the, the really nice Star Wars knobs and everything else. I mean, he did a Slimer Ghostbusters knob that looks insane too, but haven't tested it yet. Um, I'm sure knowing Zach, it's going to be good quality and it's going to work just fine. I didn't know if a lot of you guys knew that this RJ45 style existed or not. Uh, and I'm going to let you know up front, it's not a cheap knob. Um, you know, you're going to be a, right around or a little above that $150 range for a knob like this. But, I mean, you're getting more than just a standard base knob. You're getting this. You're getting, you know, he even sleeved the RJ45 connection. You know, you got your two really nice images on there. So, you know, I think with all those features added online, I think the price come out to like right at $160. But if you think about it, you can mount this on the front of your wall, right behind the driver's seat. You don't need a super long cable because I just got the standard length cable that he offers with the knob. He did the cool wrap on it. Uh, now, if you wanted to mount this in the back, and he actually makes these with like your normal input and however many outputs you want, is just, you know, you're paying extra for that. I already had the distribution block, so I'm just going to run that for out to the distribution block. I didn't need the extra outputs. Uh, I'm either going to mount this to the side of my wall or actually right behind the driver's seat where, because I already got RCAs ran up there for the current base knob. So really, I can tie into my voltage wires there. I can tie into my RCAs there and run this up through my center console, get the extra length I need coming through it and got the base knob. And that's it, guys. Check out Slam Panda if you're interested in something like this. He still makes the regular base knobs that you can get looking like this as well. But uh, I really, really, I spent the extra money because I definitely am intrigued by this RJ45 design. I'm not sponsored by Zach. Me and him have been, we've had a working relationship together going back a few years now. He built my first base knob and... He's a good dude, so he ain't sponsored me in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to do the video to uh, show y'all what's out there in case you didn't know. Peace out, guys, and base on.